Yo, 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 what is going on guys, it's Cheese and Trees here, back at it again with another Icarus YouTube video, and today we are checking out the main focuses of the Week 23 update, including the new mission, Migrating Sands, the new Sandworm World Boss, and the new Sandworm Weapons and Armor. In this mission, I decided to build everything up to find and extract exotics before I completed the mission tasks, so I will be starting the video with a full inventory ready to extract exotics, but I will not actually be extracting exotics in this video. That will not be included. I'm just going to be including the mission in this one. I had a lot of fun with this mission, and I really like the addition of so many new items to the game. It's great that they're adding so much more diversity with new items because it gives players like myself many more possible strategies to accomplishing our missions. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the sandworm content. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. I've woken up, got a full inventory, a lot of food, a lot of meats up here, some coconuts right here. I got campfire bedroll, building pieces right here I got a generator an electricity tool I guess that's for later oh I don't need those iron nails that's for sure and I have my radar because I'm gonna look for exotics but I also have whoops also have my portable beacons so I can go do my mission right here so I collected my my beacons from the dropship that was at the very beginning when I collected all my stuff from my dropship and now I just need to deploy beacon one or deploy beacon out location one, I should say. Alright, let me just put these nails away. And grab some more leather just in case. And we shall go on our journey. Oh, and I was going to scan right here, but I, I don't want to scan right here because it's the corner of the map. So I might as well like scan like out here or something, you know. I don't know. Go do the first beacon. See where the second beacon takes me. And then probably go over there. Scan over there. <gasps> got something. Good thing I got rid of those nails because I forgot my. Ba -ba -da -da. K form arrows. Still going, I guess. That's fine. I don't think I'll use the titanium, but I'll keep it rolling. Let's go to spot number one. I just set it anywhere over here. I'm just gonna set it down and see if it works. Okay, word. It worked. cave first though, I'm not going to deploy this yet. Well I can't because I didn't bring biofuel, so that was smart of me. Alright, I went all the way back home because I set my radar down realized I didn't have any biofuel, but it was okay because I set my two beacons and it gave me enough room for all three of my biofuel cans that I made, so it worked out. Now I'm back, ready to set my last beacon. Bada bing, bada boom. Head to the location of the shifting sands. Yeah, I was gonna say, I figure it's in the middle of all three. Scorpion. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna be right up 
here. I'm sure it's going to jump scare me because I am terrible with jump scares in the game. I'm sure you already knows it from the giant scorpion mission. Please don't jump scare me. Come on. Mr. Sandworm. The scales. I'm greedy. No, he poisoned me. Does he have? still. Oh god. Let's go! You did it. Got him! Let's go! Let's go! Mission complete, but how do I craft them? On my person? I figured not. Sand. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't there armor? Sandworm bow. Sandworm arrow. Critical. So right here, I was trying to figure out how to craft all the new sandworm items and what their unique modifiers did. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good job of explaining everything while I was recording, so I'm voicing over now to explain what everything does. 
right here, as you'll see, I ended up crafting all the new sandworm weapons. The spear and the arrows give you plus 10% to critical damage and a 100% chance to wound on hit. The knife gives you 175% skinning yield and also a 100% chance to wound on hit. The bow, strength-wise, is comparable to a recurve bow or a caveworm bow. But the unique feature it has is a 15% boost to maximum health, which I think is very interesting and unique. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this may be the only piece of weaponry or armor in the game that does any kind of health boost. But anyway, after I figured everything out about the weapons, it was time to find the armor. have to come back here. I hope they don't despawn. It doesn't look like there's no decay or anything on there. Ah, there it is. Haha. <laughs> Yep, the textiles bench was the place to look. Now I have to go grab more scales. Let me see. Uh... Alright, so as you can see here, you need a textiles bench to craft the sandworm armor. The biggest attractions to this armor set are the large amounts of heat resistance you get with each piece and the poison resistance you will have with the complete set on. Not only do you have a plus 25% poison resistance, but you also get a minus 50% poison afflictions to yourself. So, this armor would be really great if you plan on fighting a lot of poisonous creatures in your prospects, which include cave worms and scorpions. The only issue I see with this armor is by the time you're able to take on a giant sandworm, you're probably set up with decent gear already. At least if you're a solo, that is. I can see a group of prospectors with the beginning set of gear being able to take down a giant sandworm and it definitely drops enough scales to be able to get your whole team set up with sandworm gear so that would be cool if you're able to do that really early game. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video guys. Slap that like button if you enjoyed watching me take down this giant sandworm. Leave a comment down below of what you think about the new sandworm items and all the new world bosses coming to the game. Subscribe to the channel for more Icarus gameplay, and I will see you guys in the next video.